Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back because I wanted to show you what I am sending my swap partner. Um, I've trying, been trying to play with the bow here on this, but recently I had um, made a birthday card for my sister and I made it look like this. And this is the one that I got the tutorial um, off, the, off uh, YouTube. And um, anyway, this was really fun to make and I have a swap group and what I did in my swap group for this time is I challenged them to make one of these albums for their partner and send it out to their partner. So I'm trying to get mine wrapped up so I can get mine out to, out this week. And um, anyway, I thought I would jump on and show you. Now, of course, this will be tied up. But this is what the back looked like and I just put two my crafty friend hugs Dean on there and I put some embellishment flowers. And I used this beautiful paper and this paper actually is called My Story and it's by My Mind's Eyes and I got it from Tuesday morning. So anyway, um, I utilized all the paper I could in this and plus some solids that I had. And this is what it looks like. So I used this beautiful floral print for the for the cover because I just thought it looked very vintagey and it just looked really pretty. So, and she said she didn't care what color, so that's why, you know, of course I'm gonna go with pink because I love it. And um, anyway, so this is what it looks like. So you're gonna open it up and you've got plenty of places to put your pictures on all of these beautiful pages, just like this. And it opens up even farther, and here we go. Plenty of room to grow, plenty of place for her to um, put her photos and or embellishment cards or, you know, whatever she wants, however she wants to take it from here and decorate it. I got it good and started for her, and so, anyway, I thought that the paper looked good seeing as I used Craft Brown as the base, and, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, lots of little things. I received this, like, in an embellishment swap before, one of my crafty friends along with some of these butterflies so I was able to use those I had these little buttons and these say smiles and got a little camera and stuff um, as far as these little butterflies I just added some little um, little cute little pearl looking beads in them um, I think I had this one from an embellishment swap as well so I utilized it as well and this is what it looks like this just came as some of my cut aparts and as well as this one and here we go. So this is what my what my um, little thing will look like for her, my album. And I'm just going to try to attempt to get this bow back the way I had it. It is going to probably get smushed in shipping, so I have to know that that's what's going to happen with that one. And I've been thinking how I can package this when I put it in the box because I don't want it ruined. You know, I want it to stay nice for her. So I'm thinking that I might, I don't know, I thought about putting tissue paper around it, but I'm thinking that what I will do, let me get my other scissors, y'all. Okay, I gotta get the right scissors when you're cutting this stuff. So I'm just gonna trim this up, just like that, and voila. Now, I was gonna put tissue paper around it, but I'm thinking I might utilize one of my clear bags. And of course, I think I got these off of clearbags.com, and if I didn't, I got it on Amazon. And um, I'm just gonna slip this down inside here. And actually, first, I'm gonna put a little pink shred down in here. Because you know, shred makes everything wonderful. It's like a party in a box, remember that. And I used my, I used my confetti punch that I have. And I have, uh, Punched out some confetti dots, and I'm gonna throw these in here too. So let me get these all in here. I just want it to be fun and festive for her. Everybody packages in different ways, and this is the way I felt like I needed to do it this time. So I was gonna put tissue paper around there, but I don't know. I think I might just utilize this. Hopefully the bow will get too smushed. And um at that. And that look good, y'all. I like the confetti with the tissue paper. So I'm just going to put this all up in here just to protect it. Doesn't have to be tight or anything. And so there we go. 
that's what I'm going to do with that one. Something simple but pretty. Um, I have like some little cut aparts that I'm going to put in here as well. Um, I also recently did a video for um, the lotions with the shadow box. And so I went ahead and made a shadow box in the same paper. And I added in one of my Bath & Body Works lotions. This is for her to enjoy. I think I'll put this in here. Yeah, won't fit. I won't worry about that. I'll just put it in there. Um, so anyway, so now I'm just going to go through my stash and I'm just going to see what I would like for her, like to send her um, in my in my box. And um, I will come back and show you how I am going to package everything. Okay, so I found a couple of things that I had recently purchased a Tuesday morning. These are some embellishments that I'm going to pass on to her. They're by American Crafts and I've got 50 of them in there. So I thought I'm going to wrap these up. Maybe I should make a little trend going on and maybe I should put confetti in anything I send her. What do y'all think? I think that's what I'm going to do. So the nice thing about this confetti punch, which of course I got it Tuesday morning, is I'm just going to punch it over what I'm going to wrap up. And get some, some nice confetti going on in here. I'm going to wrap it up. So she has a couple little gifts to open. And let's get this up. Good. Well, ago, I had my husband said, listen to the kids and my two grandkids. You know, they're at that age where they fight. And, and uh, they're 10 and almost 13. So... They fight or they get mad at each other, but it was really nice to hear them. We went and they were in the bathroom. My granddaughter was curling her hair and she went in there and she was, uh, and they were both in there just a singing away. So it was just nice to hear the, them singing off tune and all, but it was just fabulous. So I'm just going to put this twine around here. I'm just going to tie a little knot on here. I'm not going to worry about a bow. That way it just makes it pretty. And there we go. I think it's a little, um, a little embellishment card. Oh, here it is. I'll add this in here. It's going to go like this. I think that I will put this one in a clear bag. Let me see. Let me get this in a... And then I'll help put it in the clear bag where it's a little bit bigger. I don't want it to, I don't want it to get too smushed. I'll just put it like this. Kelly, if you see this video after you get the, the swaps, sorry that the bows are going to be smushed. I tried to make them not smushed. Okay, here I go again with my confetti punch. Put a little confetti on in here. I'm going to have to do the confetti on my table and pick it up. Okay. I got all my scraps all situated last night. It was great. Good feeling. And a couple little things with some shred in it. Let me grab some more. Never can have enough shred. Not too much, just a little. And when you package your stuff like this, it kind of makes your partner just think, and I know this is too big, but I'm, I'd rather have this one too big. Um, but it kind of makes your partner, know, let your partner know that, you know, that you really took the time and you cared about them. So that's why I'm doing this, because... Anybody that says my partner, I care about them and I care what they think about what they get. And okay, so I've got my album. I've got this, got these uh, ephemera, these little cute little things. I'm gonna also send her this Kirby cutter. So let's get this one packaged up. I'm one. So I'm going to package this one up, and I'm going to pretty much do the same thing like, like I did 
the ephemera and then I will decide what else I'm going to put in it. I'm thinking I might do some flowers, some paper flowers since I went kind of with a rather rose type theme. I almost forgot this confetti, y'all. Where's my punch? ready to put everything in the box and I'll show you when I how I'm packaging it and um yeah I think it I think that she will enjoy this at least I hope she will um and this one I know I'm not doing my box corner but I think it's okay I'm just gonna fold them over and call it a day Use some twine. And throw myself a knot or a bow. I'll just do knots on these. One. I'm going to include these little paper clip that I did, but I actually got the little bow. Um, one of my little crafty friends sent it to me in a swap, so I'm going to use that one. Put it on here like this. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to finish figuring out what else I want to put in her box, and when I'm ready to package, I'll follow back up with you. Okay, so y'all, I have this box. It's got a lid that looks just like this. And I'm gonna utilize this and wrap my package. Sometimes when I use the flat rate um, boxes, um, when I send things to people, you know, the post office is gonna charge you however much the flat rate box is. But um, if you wrap it, if you're using their box and you wrap it, they don't know you're using the box. And so they're just gonna go by weight. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I'll just wrap it and um, have it all pretty for. Her. So I wanted to just show you this is the box I'm going to be using to put the goodies in. So while I'm packaging up the box, I wanted to show you I am utilizing my Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna make her some flowers to go in the box because I kind of had like a flower thing I ended up with. And I guess it's really good because it's spring flowers. And so, yeah, I guess that could be the theme of this whole box is spring flowers. So um, I had this on my Cricut Design Space and um, I actually had it in my cart on a cartridge and I actually loaded it to my Design Space. But anyway, it makes the flower shape like this. And here is one right here. And let me sh show you quickly how I put it together. So you take the template that you have cut out. Now, if you don't have a, a Cricut, you can cut your paper in a spiral and cut it that way and then go back around and draw it out and just cut it. My, and you, if you're creative and can make these little petal looking things, then that's great. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. It makes it a lot of petals, but this is so super easy. So let me watch this, y'all. So start with your glue on the end and start by, by turning this in to make your center very carefully. Actually, I will leave the door open now. It's been a little time, and my husband just went to take my kid, grandkids to get some lunch, and these, they're going home because they got to get ready for school tomorrow. Always great to have them here. So you're going to just keep adding glue going all the way around and just roll it. Try to keep this bottom flat on the bottom of your, like this, kind of make it, keep your circle going good.
and just keep turning it and just keep going this is the easiest way to make little flowers like this and they actually turn out a pretty good size as you see just keep rolling These are gonna make great little fillers in my box to give it that spring vibe. But I'm, I guess I'm going for that as I'm doing a lot of florally type things. Florals and butterflies. I just keep going. And I am almost there. So you can lay it down like this on the table and you can even roll it. I think the name of the cartridge that I that I cut this off of is called Flower Shop. Look, I can even roll it, and it will keep going. Let's keep going. Keep rolling. Just like this. See how simple? Coming to the end. Okay. Now you come to the end, this is the bottom. Got a little bit of glue strings on it. And this is the bottom. And I'm going to smush that thing on the bottom just like this. And once you know it's your, it's got it hardened, push this out, and you make your flower. I'm gonna push them all down. I'm gonna fold them out. You can leave some up. Whatever you wanna do. And look at that. Makes a beautiful, beautiful flower. So, yep, there you go. Okay, so this is what my box is looking like. And then I'm just going to start putting the, my flowers in here. I've got probably, I'm going to do probably maybe two more in here. And I think that that will be good. And it's just got such a beautiful, feminine, fun little vibe to it. And, um, yeah, this is what my box is looking like. So I've taken things out of the box and um, I decided to put some tissue paper in the bottom. I just wanted to be kind of pretty with the tissue paper. I'm going to add my shred in the bottom. And I'm going to start adding some of the goodies that I have packaged up for her. And let me make sure, I want to make sure that you guys see everything that I'm doing. I'll put that bigger one on the bottom. I'll put that one there. Then I'm going to put in this, this uh, lotion gift. And I am going to put in the, this is swap. So I've got this in here. And what I did is I made the flowers and, oh, and I also packaged up some paper clips for her. And look, there are the flowers. <laughs> so I packaged up, got, got this all in. I've made a bunch of these pink flowers. I've got one, two, three, four, five pink flowers. I'm just going to put them in here. I think they're going to be just gorgeous. And what a pretty box this will be. I'm going to put this over here, just like this. I'm gonna add the shred on top. And I really do think that it's pretty and that was what I was going for. Very springish, very pretty. 
and um, yeah, I think that she's gonna like it. Now I'm gonna, now that I'm done with this, I am going to get this all wrapped up for her, addressed, and get it in the mail to her. Anyway, I hope that she enjoys this. How pretty is that, y'all? Looks so pretty, huh? So pretty. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this, and like, um, like I said, this is for the swap that I'm doing for my swap group, and this was my contribution. Something simple, but pretty. And that's what I was going for. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, y'all, and y'all have a good day. Bye.